Hey there guys, this is Sarah from Sarah Soldiers coming from my apartment here in Yeti. So come on in. So for reference, my place is about 1,200 yuan per month and that's about 185 US dollars I think. And for utilities, I believe I pay 50 to like 150 yuan per month, which is around 8 to 23 US dollars. So let's get started. Right, come on and show you the first thing. This is my postcard wall. A couple of the postcards fell off, as you can see, but that's okay, because we're not going for perfection, it's just for fun. Uh, so I got these, as well as a bunch of other postcards that I also have, I'll show you later, on Taobao. I think it was like $5 total, I think. Um, and the walls here used to be really dreary and just sad to look at, so I bought a bunch of these postcards of some of my favorite places. So I have some for Tokyo, for Taipei. Um, New York, Berlin, so all these places that I've been. Unfortunately, I am not talented enough to take photos this good, but it's always nice to come home and like see all the colorful postcards on the wall. Um, back here, uh, if you're coming in, you can put your shoes in this little cabinet thingy. Um, so this is pretty convenient because, as you can see, it can get pretty crowded in the doorway very quickly because in Asia, most people don't wear their shoes inside and I try to do it as well just because it's like cleaner, I think, uh, and it makes sleeping a whole lot easier. So over here, I've got my purse hanging on a hook on the wall. These were here when I got here, uh, so I decided to just utilize them. This is my like makeup, toiletries, hair situation thing going on next to the mirror, so it's really nice because when I'm getting ready in the morning, I can just grab stuff and quickly put it back so I don't get too disorganized. Uh, right over here, I have my whiteboard. I am very much in favor of the whiteboard system. I have a really, really hard time remembering what it is that I have to do. So I find it super helpful to like, write all the stuff that I'm supposed to get done for the day on here and check things off. It's really satisfying for some reason. I also have some little stickies everywhere. You, you'll see them around the apartment, kind of like reminding me what it is that I'm here to do. So over here, we have my bed. Uh, it is a very large bed. I believe it's a king size, actually. And this is not originally something that I was looking for in a Chinese apartment, but pretty much all the places that I went to look at had these huge beds. Uh, I think it's just like a part of Chinese culture. I've been to hotel rooms where literally like the entire room is just a bed, and then there's like this much space in the rest of the room for the door. So I don't know. But yeah, it's been nice to like enjoy this large luxurious bed while I've been here because uh, when I was in the States I've never had anything larger than a twin size bed so which is kind of sad 22 years old just in the same bed as I was as a child but yeah so this is pretty nice to enjoy I'll miss it when I'm living in a dorm with three other people come next month so cross your fingers for me this is my fan it's right next to my bed because my apartment does not have air conditioning, and this is pretty common in units around my city. It doesn't really get too hot for most parts of the year. Unfortunately, right now, it's like hottest time of the year. I think it's in like high 80s, low 90s right now, Fahrenheit. So for you Celsius people, that would be like mid-30s-ish. I'll, I'll like put it down in the uh, subtitle thing below. Yeah, um, over here I have this little dresser unit. So these came with the bed, I believe. Um, the owner got these for me new. And I was supposed to put one on each side of the bed, but since the beds aren't taking up so much space, I thought this would just like add this weird gap that I wouldn't be able to use on the other side of the room. So I decided to just stack them up on top of each other and create like a super dresser of sorts. And I'm not going to open these drawers because I definitely shoved a bunch of stuff in there so that I could make this video without feeling ashamed of all the crap lying around. But trust me, it's pretty handy to have this little storage unit right here next to my bed. I got a little folding mirror, some other stuff, my camera. Uh, this is where I keep my earring collection. Um, I was originally going to get like a dedicated holder or something, but I didn't really see the need since I'm not going to be here for that long. Anyone who knows me knows that I love big dangly earrings, uh, so I've been able to display my collection in this kind of like sparkly way, which has been fun. Um, 
Speaking of which, you'll notice that the entire room is illuminated with these little um, star string lights. And if you look closely, you'll see that this spelled out S E M. So those are my initials, Sarah Elizabeth Mack. Uh, and my friend was very kind to help me hang everything and like arrange this. So I'm very, very grateful for that. These lights. Right now, you, I'll show you in a minute what it looks like with the fluorescent lights off, but it's so much nicer to just have like a soft kind of yellow light to, you know, kind of get in the mood for going to bed, doing some reading, watching some Netflix, just relaxing. So, yeah. Ooh, I to myself with the fan. Um, this is my desk. Nothing super fancy, it's just a glass table with this cool little pull-out attachment. Um, so this is actually really convenient because I use this table all the time for literally everything. It's not just a desk, it's a countertop, it's a dinner table, it's a working space. It kind of is just like the multi-use surface that I use for pretty much everything here. Um, the only chairs that I have in this apartment are these two blue plastic stools and they're really, really uncomfortable to sit on for more than like 10 minutes at a time. So usually what I'll do is I'll pull my desk up next to my bed and I'll just sit in my bed like this and get work done. But the great thing about having these stools around is that A, they don't take up very much space and B, if I decide to have people over, which I have a couple of times, I'll just put the table in front of the bed and two or three people can sit here and two people can sit in the blue plastic chairs. So it's, it's great for entertainment, if you will, for those HGTV people who are watching. Um, this is my kitchen area. So the whole thing is a studio, so everything's all in one room, including the kitchen. Um, as you can see, there's not very much counter space, and unfortunately, this burner right here does not work, which means I'm supposed to put this big pot that gets really hot so I can cook my food right here, which means I have absolutely zero counter space. And so that's why it's so important to have this table right here, because if like I'm cooking something and I want to be like chopping vegetables or something, I have nowhere else to do it except for this table, so I'm very grateful for this desk and I will miss it dearly when I'm gone. Um, I think I bought this at like, the grocery store or something, it's just a, like a sticky hook uh, strip. Uh, so I put all my, my cutting board and my scissors and my knife and my little dishwashing rag right here, so it's really convenient. Um, over here I have my closet, uh, one of my favorite parts of the room. You can see here, there's another little sticky that says, let's go do some research. So it's nice because I can wake up in the morning and every time I go to put my clothes on, I remember like, I'm here to do research and I kind of get excited. Uh, unless I haven't had my coffee yet, in which case I'm kind of just like, Bleh. but I digress. Um, these are all my clothes. I have organized them roughly by color. I find this a lot easier to find everything. I try to like wear stuff from this section as much as possible just because I, I don't like like when I fold stuff up it gets messy really quickly uh, I just prefer to have everything hung up but yeah and then under here I have my one of my big luggages and my winter jacket so they don't take up too much space in the room and they're not hugging all the closet stuff up here so over here I have another cabinet full of stuff so I think this is like Linens, uh, t-shirts, pants, socks and underwear, stuff like that. So that I don't, wouldn't want hanging loose in other areas of my closet. Um, right here we have some fake Chinese paintings. Very classy, I know. Uh, so these are actually not paper, they're fabric. And I bought these on Taobao, which is like Chinese Amazon, but bigger, better, cheaper, faster, and just superior in pretty much every way. Uh, and the great thing about these is that at, when I do leave in at the end of like next week, uh, I can just roll them up and put them in a box and send them off to wherever I'm going next, and not worry that they're going to get damaged on the way or like creased like a like a poster or a painting would. So I am very proud of this investment right here. Right here we have this awesome widescreen TV which looks really great, but it does not work and never has. Uh, I don't really know why. Uh, fortunately, I don't really watch a lot of TV, so it hasn't been a big problem, but doesn't it look great sitting here on the wall? So it's kind of like a, like a sculpture of a television. 
But the, the main event kind of going on over here is actually my makeshift bookshelf. So I was a little hesitant to buy any furniture while I'm here just because I won't be able to take it with me after I go. Um, and like I don't know how to, I would negotiate that with my landlord. But I have all of these books here and most of these I actually bought in China which is really really bad. Like in a year I've accumulated so many books. <sighs> like I have a serious problem. But on the bright side, a lot of these are books that I can only find in China easily. So a lot of them are for instance, North Korean books or books released by the Yanbin University Press, which I would not be able to find in other areas of the world very easily. So two of my favorites are right here, Kim Jong-il on the art of the cinema. I'm currently doing a research project on the portrayal of women in North Korean films, so this is going to be really handy. And then right here I have a book in Korean uh, about the history of the Joseon Jok or ethnic Korean population here in China. So I will definitely be taking this with me on my journeys as I continue. Um, over here, I have a fridge. Pretty standard. It's a refrigerator. Keeps the food cold, etc. Up here we have a fridge. Down here we have a freezer. Right now it's mostly just full of bottled water because it's freaking hot uh, and I really don't feel like cooking. But fortunately for me, Why My, which is kind of like Grubhub in China, is really, really cheap. So usually for between like 15 and 25 yuan, or around two to like four dollars, I can have food prepared and brought to my door very easily. So that's one thing that I really, really like. So one of the reasons why I got this apartment is actually this great big window right here, which I love. Um, so. You can't really see anything right now, but in the mornings and the afternoons, you get a really nice view of kind of like the sky and stuff that's going on over here, other apartment buildings. I can see those from my bed. The only problem is that, unfortunately, the window looks directly into the window of my neighbors right across, so I can wave hello. So I always have to be a little bit careful about, you know, using these curtains, but they block out the light pretty well, so has not been a big problem so far. Let me just close this up. So on the way to the bathroom, I'm gonna show off the lights so you can see what it looks like with just the lights on the ceiling. Yeah. So it's nice, right? It's almost like a candlelight kind of feeling or like a cool cafe somewhere. I, I really, really like these lights. I'm definitely going to bring them with me when I go to Korea. And they're, they're not glass, so they won't break, which is really great. So now we're going to go in the bathroom. Okay, the door is a little bit swollen because of the heat, but don't mind. Um, okay, I still haven't figured out these lights. Um, let's turn these back on. And over here. Okay, so now you can see me. Great. Come on in. Um, it's a bathroom. Here I go to the bathroom, I shower. Um, over here we have a washing machine, which has been more than fine enough for taking care of my laundry needs. You'll notice that there's no dryer. Dryers are not really a thing outside of the states that I've noticed. Uh, so in Korea, Taiwan, China, pretty much like every place that I've lived abroad. There's never been a dryer. It's just like not a thing in most Asian households that I know of. Could be wrong. If, I, if you know of a counter example, make sure to let me know in the comment section below. But instead of a dryer, most people use this little rack. So they'll take it into their living space and unfold it and you can place all your clothes on top and just like hang them so that they'll air dry. And fortunately, the climate here is usually so dry that they dry completely within like a few hours or overnight. And one last thing, um, there is the water tank, which is out in the open, right here on the ceiling. This is pretty common in most Chinese households. You'll notice that there's no dedicated shower, and again, that's a pretty common feature in a lot of Asian apartments. So what you do, you just, you know, take a shower, uh, you can hang it up on the wall, and all of the water will just drain directly into a hole on the floor. And Something that takes a little bit of getting used to for some Americans, especially who are used to having like a separate shower, but it's actually really convenient for when you 
you want to clean up, uh, you can just scrub everything down and then rinse everything up in the shower. So, just clean it. But yeah, so I think that's about it. Thank you so much for coming on this lovely tour of my apartment. I'm very happy to have had you. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, make sure to let me know in the comment section below. My Instagram is Sarah Soul Search, and my Gmail is sarahsoulsearch at gmail.com, so you shouldn't have any trouble finding me. Um, so by the time that I upload this, I'll probably actually already be in Korea. So make sure to check out my other social media to see what I'm up to in real time. Alright, uh, thanks so much for watching, and I can't wait to see everybody as I continue my adventures in Korea. Alright, bye!